You're welcome. Hi, everybody, and welcome to a brand new one of Nina's vlogs. So I went grocery shopping today, pretty much bought the whole store, um, and that's it. So by the way, you guys, I really think, um, so as you guys could not have guessed or have guessed, um, I'm doing a grocery haul. So I went to Gelson's, one of my favorite stores, obviously not one of the least expensive ones, but there's no lines at Gelson's, so you just get right in. And this uh, little haul right here cost me $493.71. Look at that. I cut off the bottom of the receipt because my credit card was there. That's a lot of money. Trader Joe's is a lot less expensive, but there's always lines these days at Trader Joe's. And I was just like, you know what? I don't want to wait an hour in line. But um, I want to talk to you guys about something. I think the grocery prices have gone up. What do you guys see? Leave in the comments down below. I know the price of paper towels and toilet paper has gone up, but overall, I don't ever remember spending. Yeah, I mean, I've spent this much, but I don't know. And I didn't even get anything to be able to cook with, as you guys will see. Well, let's start right here. So the, I'm vlogging this myself. So we're going to go through one thing at a time. I got some Charmin uh, toilet paper. And I like this because they're soft and they're the mega size. Ziploc bags for my snacks at work. I was lucky enough to find some Bounty uh, paper towels because they're hard to find everywhere. You can't, I used to order it in bulk from Costco and they just don't have it, at least not online. I got some salad because I'm working this week and I want to Blair to have something at home. So I love this brand, the Organic Girl. This is the butter one and this is the butter plus. So it's really yummy with a little olive oil, lemon juice, um, you know, just how we go. I'm going to move this a little bit here. So it's going to be a little bit different because I'm vlogging it myself. I've been craving tomatoes these days. So these are, what do they call them? Um, how Wellings tomatoes, they're harvested under glass. So that's what's different with them. I've tasted them before and they are so good. Also, I got some apples because I was craving apples. And these are the Chalene if I'm reading it right. They just look so good and so juicy. And obviously, oh, I forgot my mouthwash. And let's see, some basil. And I love the ones that are like in the little pot because you can regrow them. I'm not so good at doing that, but they smell so good. They smell so fresh. And recently I've been making like this sandwich with um, Velveeta cheese. Uh, slices of tomato, slice of avocado, and little lettuce and some basil in there with some gluten-free bread. Um, and it's delicious. I'm actually gonna make one for my lunch tomorrow. And yes, I said Velveeta cheese. I think it's one of the best cheeses out there. I know it's like processed and everything, but I love it. So I got these Gelson's pre-cut strawberries and blueberries because Blair loves these. And these are on the expensive end, look at that. For someone else to cut them up for you, it's like $12.95. This one is $12.59. I think that's a lot, but it's the ease of it. Um, I just recently discovered that Blair likes blackberries. So I got two things of blackberries. And yes, here's my Velveeta slices. I hadn't eaten them forever, but I recently got into them. So I got this and I'm gonna pack my lunch for work for tomorrow. I got some avocados. Yummy, yummy, yummy for my sandwich and also for avocado toast. Let me show you guys. We got some lemons right here. These are really nice and juicy. And I'm gonna actually take the camera back here to vlog the rest of what's over here. So let me see if I can back this up so I can show you guys what I have. Okay, on this side, I got some Alex is it Alexia? Alexia onion rings. These are so good, you guys. And we just throw them in the oven with a little ketchup because it just has a little snack on the side. I got organic Persian cucumber. You guys know how much I love making a salad with that. Olive oil, lemon juice, a little salt, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Um, we got some skinny girl, is this skinny cow? Oh yeah, skinny cow, skinny minis, not fudging around chocolate fudge ice cream. Got some Magnum ice cream, dark chocolate with vanilla. I would have gotten milk chocolate, but they didn't have it, so we went with that. This is, I'm like obsessed. Do you guys remember growing up on these, the orange and cream? So this is from Good Pop, really, really, really delicious. And I know it's cold outside, but somehow ice cream, whatever, it, it just sounds so good. Oh, before I go further, this is a new brand that we've been trying, Rory's, and it's so good. And I got the fresh mint patty. It's just so yummy and so delicious. Also some, what are these, nut thins. 
I think, oh, almond muffin. So these crackers are really good because they're made of almonds. So for all of you out there who are trying to eat healthier crackers, then I also got this. I used to buy this all the time, the entertainment cracker collection from Cars. It just has a variety of crackers and you can eat it with cheese or with grapes and anything you like. Ready Whip, because everybody needs Ready Whip in their house. Let's see, ooh, we have some, before I go further back, some grapefruit. I've been eating a lot of grapefruit this, these days. It has a lot of nutrition in it some tangerines i like the larger ones they are so 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 delicious i'm actually gonna probably just open one up and start eating i just need they're so good i'm gonna take one bite right now sorry you guys mm. Mm -mm -mm. so good also i got some baguettes from gelson i like them a little soft so when i toast them uh they don't get too hard. I got two of them. Some strawberries here, whole strawberries. I got some delicious grapes. And I love, well, I buy like um, grapes from Gelson's because they have the best grapes. They, they're like so hard and crunchy that they taste so good. I don't like sour grapes at all. So let me take a bite and see. Oh my God. So, so, so good. I definitely think. I made the right decision with these grapes. Mm. We have, let's go over here. Meyer hand soap, because I need a new soap for my kitchen. And I'm actually going to replace it right now. There we go. That's that. Um, I think that brand is so good, by the way. And actually, earlier today, I went to Williams Sonoma in Beverly Hills to try to get, like, the, I used to get the hand soap and then the lotion set in lavender or gardenia, they closed down. They had like two items. They had literally just a few items left. And I'm like, are you guys relocating? Like, no, we just closed down. And every other day around BH, more and more businesses are closing. It's so sad. It's so sad for our economy. But anyways, little clementines, pickles for those sandwiches. And then here we have I love these chips, by the way, and they're so much healthier than other chips for you. And this is siete, I think that's how you say it, grain-free tortilla chips. And these are sea salt, which is really delish. Let me show you guys some of the waters that I got. I got, this is a, uh, the Le Croix, but this is peach pear. I've never tried it before, I'm really excited. And then this is the Le Croix passion fruit, which I love, love, love. And I just got some Gelson's water, Gelson's spring water, because we had run out, and it's just like really yummy. I got some pink, um, what do you call these? Oh my, Camina, what do you call these? Gentle Clean Scrub Sponger, and I like the color pink, and we actually need a new one, so I'm gonna open it up and, and put a new one in there. And I like to change my, um, my uh, what do you call it? The sponges, like, every so often. Actually, my housekeeper puts it in the dishwasher and washes it with the dishes, which I think is such a hygienic thing to do. So. Thank you, Myra, for doing that. You're amazing. I got some plastic cups, and these are used to take my coffee to work. And I know we're supposed to use less plastic, but it just makes it so easy for me. I make my iced coffee in here in the morning and take it to work and just like drop it off. I mean, like once I'm done with it, I put it in the trash so I don't have to forget about bringing back my glass or whatnot. It's just mainly for the ease of it for me. But I do recycle, and I'm very careful with that. We're going to take one more bite of this, and then we're going to move this way. Mmm. All right, you guys, sorry about myself vlogging. We're trying. Okay, over here, last but not least, I got some Heinz organic ketchup because we were out of it. This is my new bread that I really like. There's this brand and another one, and these are um, it's soft white gluten-free. For all of you who are scared of eating, eating like gluten-free foods, don't be. They're actually really, really delicious and you really get used to them overnight and this bread to me tastes better than anything else now that i'm used to it we have a bottle of sancerre so this is french dry french sauvignon blanc it is delicious in my um what do you call it it is delicious for me i don't like sweet wines and sancerre tends to be more on the dry side which i love and then who doesn't love a good cup of noodles? So I buy these every so often, like once in a big blue moon, I crave it or my daughters crave it. And it's just sometimes it's 
sometimes it's just so comforting to just have it and I put it, I warm it up, I put it in a big bowl and just enjoy it, you know? So I think that's it. So that's what for almost $500 gets you in groceries at Gelson's in Los Angeles. Very, very expensive. And as you guys notice, there's nothing really here to cook with. These are all just literally snacks and like kitchen supplies. So imagine if I would have bought meat, chicken or anything like that. But with that said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this haul. I just wanted to show you guys what I got, sort of what I eat and the cost of everything. And kind of let me know if you think grocery stores have like up their prices. Um, if you think paper towels and toilet paper are more expensive, I'm a little bit more cognizant of prices these days, ever since the pandemic. And I, I think they have raised them. So anyways, with that said, I hope you guys really like this vlog. I hope you guys are enjoying Nina's vlogs. And I really am so thankful for each and every one of you out there. I love you guys so, so, so much. And remember, keep vlogging.